Blackberry phones stink. You should switch. You should sh should switch to Apple products. You can even play Fortnite on those dumb Blackberries. Let's see what Alexa has to say. Blackberry stinks. Good Apple. Let's see what the internet has to say about the Blackberry Pro. The Gorilla Glass 4, same as the Nexus 6P, so it should end up pretty close on the Mohs scale of hardness. As anticipated, a level 6 pick leaves a mark, and a very visible scratch can be seen to level 7. This means that the screen won't be scuffed up by car keys or coins, but will be scuffed by a razor blade, sand, or other hard objects. You can see my keys did nothing to the screen. I plan on making another video here in the near future where I catch up all my previously tested devices with this new Mohs test. I imagine that most phones will be around a 5 or a 6, but it'll be interesting to see where the outliers are and who they are. Let's jump to the back of the Priv. The back has a nice, soft, rubbery feel to it. When I take my keys to the back, they leave almost no mark, until here, when some sharp edge of my key tore at the back. But you can see that normally, keys or coins would do absolutely nothing. The sharp edge of my key was just a fluke. I think this material has some major longevity to it. It doesn't peel off when I try scraping it with my razor either. Now here's the part of the phone that I'm most disappointed in. I'm a camera guy. I love when my smartphone has a solid camera and solid lens. As you can see, this lens is very easily scratched. I wish we could pretend like it didn't happen, but it did. Even car keys can scratch it. It is weaker than a level 3 on the most scale. Why would you not have tempered glass on your camera lens? That's like putting plastic rims on your Ferrari. Let's check out the keyboard before we jump into the burn test. It scratches just like normal plastic would, but I imagine that the phone will be closed most of the time, so scratching on the keyboard isn't a big issue. I was curious to see if any dirt or grime could get under the keys, but it is completely sealed by a solid piece of rubber, so you don't need to worry about getting junk caught under there. Let's check out the burn test. The BlackBerry Priv does have an AMOLED screen. With a bare flame resting on the screen, the pixels shut off and turn white, which is interesting because most phones turn black. The only other phone to go white was the Nexus 6P, and those pixels never recovered. But this phone, the BlackBerry Priv, does come fully back to life. You can't even tell that the pixels were ever burned. Give the BlackBerry a thumbs up for surviving the heat. I think it's an interesting test. Now I debated a lot about doing a bin test on this phone. Doing a bin test on a slider phone is about as fair as entering Michael Jordan into a first grade dunk contest. So instead, let me show you what I can do with just my two fingers, and you guys can decide if it bends or not. Even when the phone is closed, that little lip at the bottom of the screen wants to lift off from the bottom half. So I wouldn't trust this phone at all in a That's bin. That's why system. kids, you should never buy Blackberries. And also, subscribe to his mm. channel.